Hey what's up guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how you can make this amazing banner section for your website. So here you can see it's an heading and above this there is a subheading and here are some text and these awesome cool buttons and this section has an awesome background with the pink background overlay so that's look really cool. So take a look at how we can make this section from scratch. As we create this page using Elementor, so if you don't have Elementor, go to add new plugins and search for Elementor. And I install this plugin and then activate it. Then to create this section, I create a pages, so I go to add new. I name this page home. I click publish. Then I go to edit with Elementor. You can see this page has the page title and another widgets. I don't want that so I go to this page settings and make this page layout Elementor full width. And you can see now this page has only the header and the footer and between that you can create the full width Elementor section. So I click the plus button here and on the right side you can see all the elements you can use with Elementor. Here is an element for add heading and text editor for adding text and image element for adding image and there are so many modules you can use. So first of all I want to create a two column section so I click on this and you can see this two column section is created. So in the first column I want to add all of my elements so I click here the plus icon. I want a heading first so I drag it here and change its text then we want add another heading above this heading so I drag the heading above that and also change its text I want to make this heading as subheading so I make it to h5 tag which looks smaller and then I want to add some text under this heading so I choose the text editor element and above this heading I want to add a line here. So to make this I go to this element section and add a divider above this heading. I will design it later but now I want to add the two button underneath this section. As we add two button side wise so first of all we need to insert an inner section here with two column. So I drag it here and you can see it's an inner section with two column. So inside this first column I want to add a button and also for the second column I also add a button. I change its text and also its text. So now let's give a background of this section. So I click edit section here and go to its style and you can see there are different types of background we can add. We can add classic background, we can add radiant, we can add video or slider background. But now I want to add an image background so I click classic, I click here and choose this image, insert media. And you notice this image is repeated twice. I don't want that so I want to make it size cover. So now this image is covered the full area of this section and I also position this image to center. All right. Now over this background image I want to add a pink overlay. So I go to the background overlay and choose the background type to gradient. From here I choose a color. I want to make this type of color. You can rotate this angle of this gradient. I make it 200 and increase this opacity to 7. Okay, now let's design the content inside this column. So first of all I want to design this divider. So I click edit divider, go to its style and make it a little bit wider. I want to make it 3 and choose a color from here. I want to make its color to orange. 
I want to use this orange color for this button also so I want to save it this color by clicking this plus icon here so this color is added on this color palette here so now let's decrease these lines width so I go to advanced go to positioning and make its width custom width I want to make it 100 pixel then I want to edit this subheading here first of all I want to change its color to white so I go to its style by clicking this button here then go to the style tab I change its color to white I want to change its font so from typography I want to change its font family to poppins okay then I want to design this heading element so I click edit go to style and select this color to white make its font poppins increase the font size and I want to adjust this line height from here I want to make it 1.15 I want to make this column a little bit wider so I drag it right here and make it around 70 percent then I also want this paragraph white so I edit this color to white give it a font I want to make it reweak font and I want to decrease its width so I go to advanced go to positioning and give it a custom width I want to make it in percentage so I click the percentage icon then I increase its width to 66 percent so after that I want to design this two button but before that I want to remove this upper and lower padding of this inner section so I go to edit inner section and go to its advance and make it zero and you may notice this button is not aligned with this text this is because this column has a padding so I click edit column go to advance and make its padding to zero and also its padding to zero now I design this button from here I click edit button give it color to orange so its background color would be orange color I want to choose the pop in make it a little bit larger 16 pixel and you may notice these buttons have a little bit border radius so I want to remove that I go to this border radius and make it zero and lastly the padding is 25 pixel but in top and bottom I want to decrease it so I click on the link icon on the top I want to make it 15 and for the bottom I want to make it 15 now I want to change its color when we hover over it so I go to its hover option from here I choose the text color to orange and the background color to white so let's make it the text color would be orange and the background color would be white so now we can see when we hover over this button this color of the text and the background are changed and this button looks way more better than the default one so now I want to copy the style from this button by clicking copy and paste it by paste style but for this button I want to change its colors to blue so I click this edit button here and go to style and click the color and I want a navy blue color something like that I want to save this color on my color palette so for the hover state I want to make its text color to the blue and you can see this button has also the hover effect now we close up these two button to do this we want to decrease the width of this first column here so I decrease it by dragging it okay now we want a little bit padding above these buttons so I go to this inner section settings and click this clip icon to remove the linking and increase the upper padding to 30 pixel and lastly we want to add some padding above this section and also in the bottom 
so i click the edit section here and go to advance and remove this clip icon and make the top heading to 120 pixel and also this bottom padding the same all right this looks really cool now if i go to preview you can see this page looks awesome we have designed this section for desktop devices now let's design it for tablet and mobile devices so i go to this tablet option from here and you can see some parts of this section are broken so we need to fix that so first of all i need to decrease the heading size so i click the edit heading and go to its typography i decrease the font to 48 pixel and i want to make this paragraph aligned with this heading so go to its width and make it 100 percent okay now let's fix this button here this button is shrinked because of this column width so i need to increase this column width from here i go to this columns layout tab and increase the width i make it 32 percent and also for the second column i also make it 32 percent okay now let's fix it for mobile devices so i go to mobile device and i need to decrease this font furthermore so i click edit heading go to its typography and make it 38 pixel then we make a little bit gap between these two buttons so i go to this column settings here and go to advance and remove this clip and want to increase the bottom padding i make it 15 pixel and lastly we want to reduce the top and bottom padding so we go to this edit section and remove this clip and the top padding would be 70 pixel and the bottom i want to make it 50 pixel or 30 is better so then i update to save this page all right now we have designed our page for these desktop devices and if we go to the tablet devices you can see this page is looks perfect and also in the mobile devices it looks cool so that's how you can create this awesome banner section for your website so if you want to learn how to make a full website with much more amazing section like this you can check my other video which link I give in the description below. Here I will show you how to make a cool hero image section like this, how to make a fully functional contact form, how to add google map and youtube videos, how to add blogs on your website and much more. So thanks for watching this video, I'll see you later.